Hello everyone, how are y'all doing? Hopefully y'all are doing all right. Um, we heard you, loud and clear. You know, message was received. And uh, we are going to be following through with more Sword Art Online Abridged parody. We're going to be watching episode three. And yeah, honestly, the first two episodes, y'all y'all weren't as impressed by it's not that i wasn't impressed it's just that like we record these really late at night and i work during the day until a lot of times i'm really tired by the end of the day yeah so sorry for not having much of a reaction last time but um according to some people that have watched this they say it gets better as it goes along. Yes. All I really remember was like this like figure thing in the middle and the players not being able to leave. And there mm -hmm. was this one guy that was really good at the game. Yes. Kirito. That's all I remember. So basically Kirito, uh, him and a bunch of people are trapped in this game and they basically were told like hey you can't leave and if you die in the game you die in real life oh and another thing too was that uh, at the end of the well the second episode he basically met up with this girl uh, and the girl was really talented but she didn't know how to access the menu so she was new at the game so she didn't know how to access the menu and like trade items and shit like that yeah, see, I don't remember that. So, and, really, I was half asleep. Well, people, at the <laughs> end, at Sorry. the end of the episode, he got a black, he got a black trench coat, and he was walking away. And she's like, "Hey, I want half the coat." He's like, "You, you want half it? That makes no sense." And she's like, "I don't care. I want half the coat." He's like, "Okay, open your inventory." Oh, that was a sick burn. And then she was like, she was like, <laughs> she oh, you son of a bitch. Owl, right? It's like, oh, you mean? son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to be watching uh, episode three, and... Wow, I, I wonder what's going to happen. I wonder indeed. Hmm, diddly hum. I wonder if the girl will figure out how to open the menu. That's very relatable, though. <laughs> I, okay, here's... Here, I didn't see the dramatic read. It's like... Will Kirito ever stop being an asshole? Will the game ever be beaten? Will Asuna ever figure out how to access the menu? Well, they somehow <laughs> threw out the awful plot that comes up in a few episodes and ruins the entire series in the original. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> You'll see. It, it's it's fine. Okay. So, anyway. The original goes with what they're doing right now for about four or five episodes and then just completely, like, throws it out in favor of something really fucking lame and stupid. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, so, uh, this is a Sword Art Online Abridged parody episode three. And, uh, let's. Hold on. Huh? <laughs> Sun type. What hey. is you? Drama King. No, I felt it coming, and I didn't want to try <laughs> and say something. So and then dramatic. I didn't want to. I didn't want to risk like set, be in the middle of saying something and like bite my tongue while sneezing, because I've done that before, and it sucks. Like all of a sudden, it's like. And so anyway, I was <laughs> telling like you dramatic I was like, pause. Oh! Dramatic pause. No, I was just like two was, seconds. As you. <laughs> well, you know how the old meme goes. Girl sees. <laughs> Missy. <laughs> Dramatic. Yeah. Some of my friends on Discord, I haven't heard them sneeze in like a bit because I think they finally got their fucking noise canceling shit figured out. But, like, literally, like, we'd be like, did you just get attacked? Are you okay? Like, <laughs> it would just sound like, <laughs> like, through the fucking microphone or something like that, you know? Like, swag a couple times. I'm like, Jesus Christ, it was really quiet. And then you scared the shit out of me with that. It's like, sorry, I sneezed. Sorry, sneezed. Uh, I remember one time, like, Rick has a mute thing that he does every time he, like, coughs or sneezes. And I appreciate him for that. But there was one time. You he, need a mute button when you sneeze. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> we just Go need ahead. To, we just need to give you a mute button. <laughs> sure. Continue. Okay, but yeah, Rick does that, but one time he didn't hit it, and he <laughs> sneezed right into the microphone, oh, no. and it was just like, it was like, oh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> and I, me and, I remember it was me and Nino were both in the call with him, and we were like, Jesus, man, <laughs> y'all right? And Rick's like, oh, fuck, I, I, I'm sorry, I meant to mute, and it's just like, it's okay, <laughs> but damn. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, anyway, SAO Abridged parody, episode three. Let's get into it. Here we go. The following is a non profit fan based parody. Sword Art Online is owned by A1 Pictures, Aniplex USA, and Reki Kawahara. Please support the official release. No. <laughs> A little early for a Christmas episode. I said jump, you delightful Italian stereotype. Oh, hello. Is Didn't see you come in. Yes. yes. I am Sir Jack Dapper. But of course you already knew that. It is my great honor today to introduce you to the Sword Art Online Christmas Extravaganza. Like a touching tale of whimsy, adventure, and the true meaning of friendship. This so, is culture. I have yeah. my book. I have my bourbon. Gather round, children. I Let's like make some decanter. Christmas. This yes. is the story of the red-nosed reindeer. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man, <laughs> they put hats on him. Our magical journey began in April. Apparently, that's a bit <laughs> odd. Guess we're going for a slow burn on this one. Oh well, I can dig it, as the kids would say. Our story began at the local davening hole, where our hero, Kirito, had just made some new friends. Or homies, if you will. Stop it. I'll stop now. To Thank Kirito! You. Who are you people, and why are you at my table? Ah, oh, Kirito. Can I call you Kirito? No. Here's the thing, Kirito. I couldn't help but noticing while I was rifling through your character page... I thought I had that set to private. ...that you are not associated with any guilds. So the crew and I... I call them the crew, by the way. We're thinking that you should join our guild. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Now, I know what you're thinking. Am I really worthy to join these awesome dudes? I've literally never thought that about anyone. But <laughs> let me assure you, we could certainly use someone with your... <laughs> Assets. Ugh. Hey, hey, my eyes are down here. Right, right. So what do you say, Key? Can I call you Key? God, no! Mm, I see. And what if I put on this hat? Oh, don't be ridiculous. What the hell am I signing? To the newest member of the Moonlit Black Cats, Takirito! Damn it! So let me introduce you to the crew. I call them the crew, by the way. So I've heard. This here is Sachi. And, uh, the rest are NPCs. Wait, what? Yeah, they're all companions from different quests. They help you fight, and as long as you never finish, they stay with you. We must save my family! The bandits are coming! Um, is that important? <laughs> nah, it's just part of the quest. They say that, like, every four seconds. <clears throat> Always remember to jump, jump! And, uh, he's from the tutorial. <laughs> it's not a good tutorial. <laughs> Winners don't use drugs, except steroids. In which case, use lots of drugs. Wait, so you never finished the tutorial? Hey, just because I can't play the game doesn't mean I can't play the game. Wink. I feel like you don't know how winking works. Th thank you for joining our guild, Mr. Kir 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 Kirito. Sweet merciful Buddha, what the fuck? Now, now, don't panic. Sachi just lives out in the boonies. Her internet connection is kind of shit. Sh 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 oh god, it's spreading! <laughs> Women and children! Yeah! We're using a shield! Oh my god. <laughs> what shenanigans? Four people died in that fire. But from the ashes sprouted a powerful friendship. And in time, Kirito found that he could almost tolerate them. Much like a fat man tolerates the tapeworms in his intestines. And like those tapeworms, that guild burrowed deep into his innards and gorged themselves on his leftovers until they began causing abdominal pain and diarrhea. I realize the metaphor's breaking down a bit here, but <laughs> Granny Dapper didn't raise no quitters. In any case, things were about to change for young Kirito as he learned one fateful night. Hey, Kirito, buddy! Sachi kinda ran off and we don't know where she went. Could you be a pal and track her down? I'd look for her myself, but the NPCs are sorta blocking the door and I can't get out. We must save my family! Move! <laughs> Listen, buddy, I'm gonna need your help sooner rather than later. I'm starting to think this is a two-man job. You've been playing for... 4,608 hours. Maybe you should take a break. 
I would if I could, Mom, but that's not really an option now, is it? <sighs> now he's clipping through the wall. This is just perfect. Ah. So, yeah, if you could take care of that for me, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that, Kata. It's my day off. And because I know it's your day off, I went ahead and included a little motivation. Right. Kata, when have you ever had anything I... <clears throat> He got the hat. I hate that yep. goddamn hat! Yo, Sachi, Kata said you ran off or- Jesus Christ, what's wrong with your eyes? What? Oh, right, detective mode. One sec. <laughs> oh, that's brisk. Is it supposed to hurt like that? I don't think so. Unless the game is developed by a sadist. Well... Yeah, I heard it. So anyway, I figure I got about, oh, five minutes before I black out from the pain. So, Princess, why'd you run off? Because I'm terrified my leg is going to get me and everyone I love killed. Well, shit, I don't know how to mock that. Oh, God, that's never happened before. Well, maybe this is something you don't need to mock. Uh, okay, but then what's the point of other people if not to mock them? You know, I'm starting to see why people think you're an asshole. People think I'm an asshole? And yes. so they <laughs> talked all through the night, and slowly, Kirito began to see the error of his ways. If that seems like a cop out to you, congratulations! You get a cookie. Wow, Sachi, you've really opened oh, my eyes. Cookie. I've been such a jerk. Well, no more. You're looking at a whole new Kirito. From now on, I'm gonna be nicer and show people the compassion they deserve. <laughs> so, can we talk about my problems now? Ugh, <clears throat> no one cares. <clears throat> oh. Ouch. Hey, I thought you said you were gonna black out from the pain. Oh, yeah. Guess I'm just a lot tougher than a thigh. Oh. Hey, crew. I know you guys have been working really hard, and I've got some good news. And? Uh, and some bad news. The good news is we're in debt to the mob. No, wait, that's the bad news. Also, there's no good news. There's a mob in this game? Uh, yeah, I may have promised some, let's say, unsavory individuals that I could duplicate <laughs> their rare item. And, well, it turns out that got patched. So then why don't you just give back their item? Yeah, well, here's the thing. I kind of sold it, and now... The bandits are coming! Precisely! But the Don says all will be <laughs> forgiven if we replace the item. Well, okay, that doesn't sound too... Here's the thing! There it is. It only drops on the 27th floor. Is that a problem? Well, uh, let me put it this way. Take the most horrific, awful thing you can think of and multiply it by cancer. But you'll do fine. You've got Kirito, and he's practically carrying this crew. Practically? Kirito? I'm sorry. So on that note, what do you guys think? <laughs> well, no offense, but that's the most <clears throat> probably fine idea I've ever heard. That's a weird way to phrase that. Don't push me on this. All right, so we got us a game plan. Wait, you didn't say what you're doing in all this. Well, the thing about that is, later. Oh, you asshole. We really need to take that ad away from him. God, we've been looking for hours. Where is this stupid thing supposed to drop anyway? Uh, Kirito, did Kata even tell us which item we're looking for? Son of a... We must save my family! Oh, wow. A single chest in an empty room. Yeah, this looks legit. Come on, guys. Even we're not dumb enough to fall for this. Oh. Sachi, you set them to auto loot, didn't you? Yeah, I thought it would save time. Oh, yeah. We're sprinting to our deaths at record speed. Well, it might not be a trap. Maybe we just want a prize or something. Deploying slaughter knots and murder golems. Oh, oh wow. wow. Slaughter knots and murder golems? It must be my birthday. I thought you were going to be nicer. Baby steps. It's okay. We'll just grab one of the teleport crystals from Gary. Who the fuck is Gary? We must save my family. Oh. That was scary. Of course it was. No, no, no. It's fine. Charlie's got a bunch of health potions. Which one's Charlie? Never mind. I got it. Well, we still... Oh, God. Stop. Look, we're just gonna have to fight our way out. Okay, I'm scared, but I trust you. Do you, do you, do you, do you? Oh. Sachi, no! Kirito, this isn't your fault. Your fault. Your fault. Your fault. Well, that was grim. Damn. But as with all things, there is always a silver lining. <clears throat> For you see, Kirito still had one friend left with whom he could share his grief. Kata! Yeah! Oh, Christmas! Yay! Christmas! Whoa. No one kills themselves on Christmas! <laughs> Christ, I need more bourbon. 
They say the settlers will appear beneath a certain fir tree tonight and grant whoever finds them an item that will give anyone a merry Christmas. Now that'll be 200 gold. Oi, oi, where are you going? Get back here! Balls? My, My name, name is Klein. Klein. That was unsettling. What the hell was that? I correct people so often, they think it's how I say hello. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, no kidding. So what are you doing out here? Yeah, I've been having this weird pain in my chest. I was hoping this rare item might be able to fix it. Well, that's strange. What do you think caused it? Well, I suppose it started right after I watched my entire guild get slaughtered. But I mean, I didn't take any damage, so that can't be it. Oh my god. Kirito, as the sole survivor of the Midnight Black Cats, the debt naturally falls to you. The Don sends his regards. Well, as many questions as this raises, I'm gonna keep this brief. Kirito, you're not injured. You're sad that all your friends died. Wow, I never thought about it like that. Yeah, big shock, you friggin' sociopath. <laughs> Look, I've heard rumors that item might be able to res players. It's a long shot, but you owe it to yourself to try. Go on ahead. We'll hold them off. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Yeah, Thank how you. are you gonna res Klein? someone who's dead in real life? Hey boss, who's Klein? Don't ruin this for me. And there, <laughs> under that frosted fir tree, Kirito spotted the big man himself, streaking through the snowy sky on a sleigh full of Christmas cheer. The patron saint of prostitutes. Look it up. Old Saint Nick. Jesus wept. What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa. Also, the name. Naughty. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> <laughs> Not to be confused with Renegade Nick. <laughs> Isn't that how you spell your name, though? <laughs> yeah, but I usually spell my name as an IC. So. I know. <laughs> My screen name is literally Renegade Nick, not Nick the Renegade. So. <laughs> that well, is so that I actually, my screen name on Discord for a long time has just been Nick No Maiden. So. <laughs> you really gonna take a picture of that? Okay. <clears throat> Nicholas the Renegade. <laughs> you gotta change it. <laughs> Damn it. You gotta change I'm sending this no, to I you. No, I don't. I don't yes. even like the series so far. <laughs> Send it to him. <coughs> okay. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. It has been. Oh, come on. Son of a bitch. There we go. It has been sent. There you go, Kate. <laughs> you happy? Yep. Okay. <laughs> back, back to this. What the fuck? Nick, when he wakes up. No, I'm just kidding. Kirito, how'd it go? Did you win? Does this look like the face of victory to you? You didn't get it? Oh, I got it. It's a hat. It's a goddamn hat. Well, what do you want to do with it? Wear it, poop in it. I don't really care anymore. But I do suppose I should thank you. You made me realize that by being nice and letting people in, they just die. But even still, thank you for showing me that there's still a part of me that can feel like this. Because now that I know where to find it, I've killed it forever. So thank you. Thank you for freeing me. Balls. No. No. You were so close. You were almost a person. You were so close. And so they say, Kirito's heart grew three sizes that day. It immediately shrank six, imploding into a black hole <laughs> from which no love could escape. The no. end. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you expecting a happy ending? Well, I'm afraid the world doesn't work that way, bucko. The only thing you can hope for in life is that you make enough money to fill the void left behind by the woman you love when she takes your children to some island in Tahiti with a cabana boy half a fucking age. Well, look at me now, you harlot! I'm still alone with all my money! God, I'm alone. So alone. Oh no. Oh, no. 
Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> oh god, it's in the Persian rug. Hey, you need to buy another. I'm sorry, Don. We finally tracked down the one known as Kirito, but we were beaten back by the legendary warrior Balls Deep 69 and his men. The boy escaped us yet again. That's funny, man. No I know that animation. But style. I promise you, we will get back what was stolen. What are your orders, Don Fluffles? <laughs> it's a kitty. <laughs> He's an odd eye kitty. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> that was. I uh, I know that animator that animator who did the animation there at the end. That's Funny Mahem. I haven't seen anything from Funny Mahem in so long. Jesus. But yeah, here's the okay. Here's the rub in the original. The item that Kirito got uh, was actually, it was a item that could resurrect somebody, mm -hmm. but it had to happen within the last five minutes. Oh. And more than seven months had passed, so nah, no dice. No. Mm -hmm. He wanted to try and bring back Sachi. That was basically his big thing. Which, he's already an idiot. For thinking that that's possible whenever they said that if you die in the game you die in real life How are you gonna bring back somebody who's fucking dead in real life yeah well that's the thing is like it's i don't know all in all the holes or your characters just being idiots <laughs> yeah uh, overall guys i hate to tell you like it didn't get any better in episode three for me eh, fair this enough this is not my style so far well he is a set well I, I, I like the joke where he he kept using NPC the dude kept using NPCs as his party mates because I can't tell you how many people I've heard say do that in Skyrim. Mm. I mean that's a system in Skyrim is the companion system like yeah but it's just like you you don't finish their main mission it's just like it's just like oh we're just delaying the inevitable. Just delaying the inevitable until it's just like uh, until it's just the, the party member eventually dies. It's so like most games started putting a thing in place to where party like members, temporary party members, like either can't be or won't allow you to take them outside of like the area of their quest. You know. Ah. Uh, well. Either way. Overall, so far, I just don't know if I should keep watching this with you guys if you're going to keep watching it, because I don't think it's my thing. Either way, though, I mean... Doesn't tickle my funny bone. Well, a lot of people said that... Well... A lot of people have said that it, it gets better. I don't know. I, I liked it when I first watched it, but I stopped... I forget where I stopped at. It's been a while, y'all. But, anyway... Yeah, so that was uh, SAO Bridge Parody Episode 3. Hope y'all enjoyed, and I guess Merry Christmas? I mean, this was a Christmas theme. Merry Christmas in March. <laughs> yeah, three, three months Three months late. late. <laughs> yeah, so, hey, Merry Christmas. <laughs> anyway. Call me the Grinch of this. Yeah, <laughs> Nick is the Grinch. Well... No, Nick was the the Well Nick the Santa. was Santa. Nick was the Santa. And... Anyway, that's gonna do it. So everybody, take care, have a good night, and uh we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.